We're making breadsticks. Okay. So, I'm actually... In two days, I am making dinner. But I'm making a dinner that I've never made before. I'm kind of apprehensive about it because, well, you'll see. I wanted to make breadsticks for this dinner, but I really don't want to do it all on the same day. So, I'm going to make the dough today, and then I'm going to allow it to rise slowly in the refrigerator instead of allowing it to have a warm rise. So it should have a better, more complex flavor, and it should, you know, give me the time I need to not have to do everything on the same day. So we're just making breadstick dough today. And then in two days, come back and make actual breadsticks. Or I'll food poison someone, I don't know. Let's go. This is my KitchenAid mixer. It is new, it was a Christmas gift to me, from me. <laughs> the best kind of Christmas gift, really. And um, haven't really used it for much yet, so learning curve here. I had a, I had a lovely little Hamilton Beach mixer, which uh, I've retired now. But uh, Jay Cooks and Z Cooks got me that three or four years ago. So this is the, the upgrade. So dough, We're making dough. One and a half cups of warm water for this dough. I'm using tap water. Sue me. Also, temperature probe. Why? Because the first time I ever used yeast in a recipe, I murdered them. And nothing rose. And it was terrifying. I like between 108 and 110, really. That way it's warm, but it's not going to murder your yeast. You can put your yeast in the freezer, you can put it in the fridge, but do not overheat the yeast. So that's good. One and a half cups of warm water, one teaspoon of sugar. And two teaspoons of yeast. This is rapid rise yeast. I actually have uh, regular active yeast, but I find the rise is much better with this. My cousin has like, um, fresh yeast. It comes in a brick. That's the best stuff, but I can't be bothered to maintain it, so. Come to life, my precious. Come to life. The longer the rise, the more flavorful your dough will be. So, cold, slow rises actually work pretty well usually. Done it a few times before. Never to make breadsticks though. I'm noticing my kitchen has a lot of red things in it, and really, uh, that wasn't planned. I'm not normally like, ooh, red, red everything, but my KitchenAid's red, my Vitamix is red. Just, I have red stuff. A lot of red. I don't know. Maybe I like red more than I think. Maybe this is a new thing in my life. How if I know, guys? So, kitchen and mixer. Into this bowl is going flour. Three and a half cups. This is a half cup. Why am I using a half cup and not a regular cup? Because I don't want to wash both. Let's be real. I can just use this seven times, or I could use two different ones four times, or I'll just use the seven times and wash just one. Ultimate laziness. I know. <laughs> okay, three and a half cups. So that's one. Hmm. It's one and a half, right guys? Right? Right? Ah, oh, shit. It's two. Three. 
three. Three and a half. Okay. God willing. Three and a half cups. So when you're measuring anything that's, um, any flowers really, you should always scoop directly from the container and you should always level it off with a knife or something like that. You shouldn't scoop from the container into the measuring implement because you'll get mixed up amounts. So you're not going to get the right amount of yeast or flour or whatever the hell you need. Um, you can also weigh your flour if the recipe gives you the weight, which is the most accurate way to go if you're really looking for your recipe to turn out how it's written. Unless you fuck up. Which... It happens. Oh, Beethoven is so loud in the other room. So, flour, sugar. A tablespoon and a half of sugar. What am I gonna do? Just gonna have having a moment. Just eyeball that one. Sugar smoker. And then teaspoon of salt. Iodized for bacon, guys. Unless the recipe specifically calls for kosher, because if you try to put kosher salt into a baked good, it ne won't necessarily dissolve, and you're gonna have the really big clumps of salt, or you're gonna have no salt. So you're gonna have. I did it before when I was desperate and all I had was kosher salt and it was a miserable nightmare. So iodized or just fine salt, not kosher. So I'm going to mix this together. So this was salt, this is sugar, this is just flour. How's my yeast doing? Hello, my pretties. You're bubbling. That means you're alive. Good, I didn't kill you. Excellent. If you're uncertain, if your yeast is alive, put in some warm water. If it starts bubbling, you're good. Make a little well in there. I'm gonna give this a little more time to come to life. Not that I really need to. It's alive! The smell of yeast. Mm, only when it's in bread, not on people. I've smelt that too. <sighs> it happens, guys, it happens. So, anyway, we're going to pour this into my well. Ta-da! And this recipe specifically called for two tablespoons of olive oil to be added. If you don't have an oil pourer, I suggest you get one. It's so convenient. I actually wish I had another one for um, an oil that was more, wow, word, word gone. Higher smoke point, oil. Olive oil has a pretty low smoke point. So. Da -dun -da 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 -da. Dough hook in place. Lift your bowl. So KitchenAid recommends that you mix with the dough hook on setting no higher than two. So we're gonna do that. We're gonna start with stir. That's two. Do, 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 do. If this doesn't come together, I will stop it, lower the bowl, kind of give it a quick mix with the spatula and start it up again. I'll give it a couple minutes, see what it does. In the meantime, look how cute my socks are. Look at them. They have cats on them. Can you see? Can you see? My sister-in-law did that to me. Thanks, sis. So we have a blob, but the stuff on the sides is really not integrating. So, I'm just gonna help a brother out. It smells so good. I just love the smell of cooking bread. It smells so good. Okay. There we go.
So I'm gonna give this five minutes, let it come together, and we'll see what happens. It's so it's been about five minutes. Ah, silence. I'm gonna lower this. We have a cohesive formed sort of craggy ball, which is fine. Uh, doughs for focaccias, pizzas, and uh, breadsticks tend to be very wet, so you're not gonna get like a smooth, beautiful ball. Not until at least it rises. Boop. Probably should have bought like a real ball scraper, huh? Put that on my device list. Left mine at home, so we have a nice cohesive blob here. Mmm, braid. I'm going to oil a ball. My hands are clean. Always washing your hands. Okay. A little olive oil. Ah, release. It's like a monster. If a giant blob monster of uh, bread came after me, I think I'd be okay with that. Just try to bake it. Alright, no waste. No waste! It's gotta be washed. Mmm, warm, wonderful dough. Just gonna have to toss that. That's really it. This is the beginning. It's the beginning of its life as breadsticks. Hopefully. What do you think? I wish there was smell of vision on YouTube. Mmm. Tender, delicious, doughy, stew bread. Okay. I'm just gonna rinse off my hands. So I'm going to cover this. This is going to go in the fridge for nearly 48 hours, I guess, because I'll take it out a little early on the day that I'm going to make my dinner. I'm going to have to actually roll it out and then cut the breadsticks and then pop them in the oven. So I don't want to do that when it's cold. So. Okay, my friend. Double saran wrap just because it's going in the fridge. I don't want it to dry out in the fridge. Still the best saran wrap. Costco. Thank you, Costco, for existing. Do you want to be OCD and do one more? Yeah, we're going to be OCD about it. Alright, so into the fridge this goes. It should have doubled in size in 48 hours. I'm gonna check on it tomorrow. See how its progress is going. Take care, my friend. I love you. I'm gonna love you more when you're in my belly. <laughs> Bread stick dough. This has been in my fridge for about a day and a half. This is the breadstick dough I made on Yeah, it was about a day and a half. So it's been rising only in the fridge. Just had a cold rise. It's not quite room temperature yet, but I need to kind of get my work done. So I'm going to make some breadsticks. I'm gonna shape them at least and probably put them back in the fridge for now. But, ooh, it's got a lovely smell. So handling it'll warm it up anyway. Oh yes. 
Yes, that's delightful. It's proper yeast activity has been occurring. But, okay. There for now. Just going to need it a little bit. I actually have to roll this out, so I probably do need it to get to room temperature. In traditional Z fashion, I, uh, while I was being quite sad about my dough being cold still and not being able to roll it out properly for the breadsticks, I made a makeshift breadstick because I really want to have a breadstick, damn it! I've wanted these breadsticks for weeks! So, I just kind of rolled, twisted some dough, and it's kind of a breadstick. If it's edible, it's good. So I rolled twisted the dough, rolled the dough in melted butter, some garlic salt, and Parmesan cheese, and baked it until golden brown, so let's go on this journey together. Let's try a breadstick. Okay. It's cooked, that's good. Mmm. Mm-hmm. Hot. <laughs> These are gonna be awesome. Yes. I would like to roll them a little more neatly. You just basically twist the dough into itself, but. Mm hmm. Mmm. Thumbs up. Back to work. So earlier I made some breadsticks and now I'm going to just quickly pop them in the oven since I'm waiting on someone to actually cook the raviolis. <sighs> okay. Which these are not the most pretty breadsticks on the earth. They're just not. They're, they're just not. But they're tasty. So huzzah. This is just a breadstick. It's going into butter with garlic salt and some Parmesan cheese. Then I'm putting it in the pan. I'm only gonna make four at a time, probably. I'd rather they be hot or on the hotter side. Not to mention, I have a toaster oven and only a toaster oven. So. If you believe you can cook anything in a toaster oven, guys. Mm. Except for maybe things with water baths, because that would just be problematic. One layer. Oh no! Oh god. This is gonna be a process to remove this. We have stickage. There we are. Come on. Let go. So I'm just gonna do three at a time, I guess. Can I fit a fourth? Do I wanna fit a fourth? <sighs> These are not all the breadsticks I made. I also just did straight ones because I was lazy. Um. <laughs> I didn't want to keep twisting dough. I'm gonna to try to fit a fourth. So, retwist. There's not much room left in this pan. Ugh, tally. By the way, I don't recommend ever cooking in high heels. It's just, I'm way too tall. Like, if I stand up straight, I am so far away from the counter. Like, that's a low table, but this is a counter height counter, and I'm still just, I'm so far away, like, just fingertips. It's like, if you're naturally this tall, I'm sorry. Well, you're blessed, but I'm sorry. Garlic salt. A little more cheese. That was the wrong side. That would have been fun. And then these are going to go in the oven until they're golden brown, basically. I'm not even gonna... I don't even know what temperature it's at right now. I don't know. I just, I just don't know, guys. Toast ovens. They're temperamental. F it.